guys welcome back to my channel um, for those of you who are new welcome um, my name is Kieran and I am so happy to have you here um, on the glam p27 so today I thought and this is going to be a little bit different than what um, I typically do but it's not going to be a permanent change if that makes sense this is just um, I decided to try a new style and a new brand um, and this is the only bag I have um, from Kipling. So this is a Kipling bag that I wanted to show. Um, and I'm not going to be doing a review. This is just strictly a what's in my bag. Um, I actually got this in today from Amazon. Um, I decided to do kind of like an easy purchase to try the brand out. So I figured I would go on Amazon and see if they had any cool sales on Kipling. And I came across this style. And the price was just right too. It was, I think it was like around $40. Um, so it wasn't too bad. And so I thought I would give this guy a try. And so this is the Kipling Keef. Um, and let me just adjust my little monkey there. That, that guy. <laughs> so cute. Um, so I wanted to give this uh, brand a try because I saw um, a couple of people on, uh, in the YouTube community, they, um, are kind of fans of um, of Kipling. And I was ch kind of curious to see what the hype was all about. So I figured I'd give it a shot. Um, I was strictly like, um, I'm only gonna buy Vera Bradley. You know, I love Vera Bradley, um, but I was really, really curious. So um, pota Potato Peach um, on YouTube, uh, Kelly, thank you for um, showcasing some of your Kipling bags um, and uh, thank you for sort of getting me um, to get my first Kipling bag. Um, there's a few others as well. Um, I think uh, Liz from Vera Bradley, or um, Vera is my bag, she actually showed um, a what's in my bag of um, the Kipling Keef as well. And so um, I kind of had watched a couple of her videos and um, was like, let me try this style. So here we are. So this is my very first Kipling purchase. And this is strictly just a what's in my bag. It's not a review because I've only had this for several hours now. So I actually moved out of my Carson Mini. Um, and this is my Carson Mini. And so I literally had, you know, used this as my bag of the week. Um, and I moved out of this and straight into here. And what's cool is that everything that I had in my Carson Mini, and I'll just kind of put them side by side so you can see, but um, fit into this because of the way that this is laid out. So even though this seems to be a bigger bag, um, and you can fit quite a bit in the Carson Mini, um, the Kipling Keef actually fit everything I needed it to. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Firstly, these little monkeys, I think were inspired by the Jungle Book. Um, and so they each have a little name and this guy's name is Daniel. Um, hello, Lychee. Um, And so they each have a name. And so this guy's little name is Daniel, which is, um, I thought that was so cute. And I love that little touch. Um, in the first pocket, in this exterior pocket here, I just have a mask and I have the tag. So I just kept the tag in the front. I don't have anything else um, in here. And then, and I love these zippers. I actually really like, oh, um, I wanted to mention that the actual pattern of the bag is Darling, is Darling Dashes, um, which I really love this pattern when I saw it on Amazon. And they have these really cool um, little zippers um it's like this little circle uh at the end of the zip tie it almost looks like a, a lock of some sort and it's got a star with kipling around it and it's um on this side of the bag and then this is rubber and the bag itself is made out of nylon it's like a nylon material it's signature to the kipling brand and i think kipling has been around for 30 years so so yeah that's all I've got in here, but I do have to say, I love, I love these zippers already. Um, and then in this first compartment, so basically it's like a triple compartment. It kind of reminds me of the triple compartment crossbody because it has this compartment, a middle compartment, and then this uh, exterior compartment here. Um, so in the first compartment, 
I have my Foxwood um, Gen Zip ID. I basically just moved everything from my Carson Mini into here and then I added a couple of things. Um, and it's quite a spacious compartment, to be honest. Um, so my Gen Zip ID fit perfectly, you know, vertically in there. And then I have this Lilac Time, my little medicine pouch, which fit in vertically. And then I have some mints and gum that fit into this little slip pocket. So I do like that they have some organization. I have a pen just in case, and then I have um, my oil lip gloss. So that is what is in the first compartment. And everything fit perfectly. And I love the little organization that you get. Um, yeah, so that is the first compartment. In the center compartment, um, I actually didn't put anything in there, but I will keep my phone in there um, just for easy access. Um, the thing is, if you put too much in this middle compartment, when you go to close your bag, you'll actually notice a gap. So it'll kind of like, you know, it'll there. there's kind of a gap there. Um, so I like to keep this area kind of flat and use the exterior compartments for my stuff. In this uh, back compartment here, I've got my little tech case with extra masks in here um, and my hair ties. Got some extra masks just in case um, and my hair ties and then I have my, my key holder. I didn't notice the little key leash in here. I don't think it came with one. Um, so I kept my keys in my usual. And then in the back here, I just have hand sanitizing wipes and some feminine products. Um, and I like how there's a back zipper in here. So that is what I've got in the back. And I'm quite excited to give this a try. So I already took this out today with me. Um, I had a meeting to go to and I actually stuck this in my tote, um, in my work tote, and it fit nice and, you know, basically comfortably on top of my books. Um, and I was able to keep this as like a personal purse um, along with my tote. So I actually like the size of this, but, um, and then it comes with this crossbody strap. So you can wear this as a crossbody or you can wear this as a shoulder bag, however you like, but I was wearing this as a crossbody today. So I will do a review once I've had this bag for some time, but I thought I'd just go on here and just do a quick video because, um, I don't know, I really am intrigued by this brand. Um, I really like the hand feel of this material and I love the patterns. Like I like some of the patterns that Kipling has made. Um, from what I've seen in photos and things like that. And I and this was just like so up my alley. It is these gorgeous, like, you know, floral motifs on top of a background that's kind of plaid with like blues and dark purples and beige and blacks. And it's just so beautiful. So I was like, let me try out this pattern. So when I have an update for you guys, I will, I will do a review on this bag and my final thoughts. But, um, but that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you. Bye.